What's good, friends and family? That's a flip flop. So, the last part of the video is the end of the trip. Um, I believe I went to Nagua, Rio San Juan, Cabrera. Where should I go? Ah, Gaspar Hernandez. I'm a quick stop over there. I lost a lot of footage, but I sent everything to Cuzzo and let's see what he come up with for the last end of my uh, flip flop tour. Um, that was only for about a day, maybe like 12 hours riding around. Uh, but also, I saw a story, so I thought about something that happened to me a long time ago. So uh, I want to say about nine years ago. I was down here with a friend, we met up, linked up, hung out for a couple days. As I got to the airport, I was like really sick. You know, we were drinking all night, so I didn't think of nothing of it. I just said, okay, I'm not feeling well. Uh, then, then <laughs> the flip-flop girls always want to be in the video. Then, uh, as I got to the airport, I became, I was sweating profusely, vomiting crazy. So once we got to the to customs, uh, the customs agents were kind of looking at me crazy. One of them even had his hand on his gun asking me, had I swallowed any uh, um, cocaine? Like, I guess he was like, well, did you swallow any drug balloons? Like, maybe one exploded in your stomach and you're sick. I said, man, I don't do drugs, I don't deal with drugs. Um, I'm just sick. So eventually, like, when you can't get on a plane like that, and I was really bad. I mean, I'm sweating profusely. Um, my girl at the time was with me, and she's like, man, like, you're really bad. My boy was like, man, if you don't get on the plane, I'm not getting on the plane. So they gave us another flight, sent me to the medical in the hospital. Uh, the medical in the hospital said, you got to go to the, the real hospital because you're not doing good. So we don't think a drug balloon exploded inside of you, but you're not doing good. So go to the real hospital and get checked out. Go to the hospital. All they really do is check you out, give you some IVs, some antibiotics. They really didn't do much. That led to me staying here for a couple of weeks. Uh, cause like, for like a week, I was not doing well at all. Uh, I went back home, uh, went, went to see my doctor after about three weeks. And uh, my doctor said it was probably food poisoning. They did blood work. And they said that um, drinking and combined with whatever bad food I ate at the time, I got really, really sick. Which is why I give you guys tips on watch where you eat, um, watch where you, you, know, you drink. I will say this, um, Flip Flop has always been one of the better restaurants. Not a shameless plug, I'm just telling you facts. I have gone even further than I already did as far as checking the food because the last thing I need is somebody to say they got sick at Flip Flop. So I've actually gone harder with the food as far as the freshness. Uh, I've talked to my distributors, making sure they're on point with, with what they sell me before it even gets here. Before I, I check it when it gets here, before it even gets here, I know it's, even, it's fresh. So, you know. Um, but that was my story because I saw a story the other day. A guy got on the plane and they kicked him off. And I remember that happened to me. I didn't get kicked off the plane. I didn't even make it to the plane. Um, I, I got really, really sick. Uh, and that was about eight, nine years ago. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video as I appreciate you guys. It's the end of the tour. I'm actually going to the resort in, in uh, two days. As I told you guys, I can't tell you DR is safe if I'm not about showing you that Dominican Republic is safe. Uh, appreciate the love because the far away is the hate. Um... So yeah, enjoy this video. This is the last travel video of the Flip Flop Tour, which I recently did. This is the last leg of it. And uh, I'll send the next video from the resort and give you guys more info as it comes in. All right? Be safe. Keep traveling. That's the Flip Flop, and I'm out. It's dominated headlines over the past few weeks. American tourists dying in the Dominican Republic, some under what their families say are suspicious circumstances. And there have been more stories of tourists saying they fell ill or were poisoned while on vacation. The constant media coverage of the deaths and illnesses has led to the belief that there's this sudden uptick in American deaths in the DR. But here's the thing. That perception doesn't match the data. So far, seven Americans have died in the DR this calendar year, some from natural causes, some maybe not. Investigators are still trying to determine the cause for some of those deaths. But if you look at the raw numbers, these deaths, while tragic, are not out of the ordinary. According to the State Department, 13 Americans died in the DR last year. That's from non-natural causes, meaning the total number could be higher. 
In 2017, the State Department says 17 Americans died in the country from non-natural causes. In 2016, that number was 18. There may be suspicious circumstances around some of the recent deaths. The FBI confirmed that it is sending investigators to the DR to help local authorities there investigate the American deaths. But the State Department released a statement and said this, we do not publish statistics regarding natural deaths abroad. However, speaking generally, over 2.7 million U.S. citizens visit the Dominican Republic each year, and we have not seen an uptick in the number of U.S. citizen deaths reported to the department. Bottom line, American deaths in the DR are not on the rise. This reminds me of the summer of 2001, when a perfect storm of circumstances led to a shark attack hysteria. A few high-profile attacks paired with a slow news summer led to wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the attacks. Anybody remember the name Jesse Arbogast? Time magazine dubbed it the summer of the shark. People were convinced that shark attacks were drastically on the rise. Well, it turns out, again, it was more hype than fact. According to the International Shark Attack File, there were 76 unprovoked attacks in 2001, nine fewer than the year before. And deaths from sharks dropped by seven from the year prior. As Steven Pinker points out in his TED Talk, is the world getting better or worse a look at the numbers? It's the nature of media to report on the tragedies, the crimes, the attacks. And it's human nature to be pessimistic and fatalistic, even when the numbers don't back up the fear, causing us to think the world is getting worse, more violent, less safe, when the numbers actually prove otherwise. I'm just going to sip my tea. synopsis of the entire trip is coming to a close uh hit up what cities did i hit up let's see we hit up bani san cristobal bonal uh mal santiago uh gaspar hernandez uh nagua just left nagua um and no issues no drama no nothing, you know. Uh, just enjoying the beauty of the country. You know, people ask me why I live here, because it is the beauty of the country. You know, this trip actually made me want to go buy a car now, because I miss having a whip and going out and about when I feel like it. Um, but the country's beautiful. Uh, I had a good time. Got to meet a nice lot of a lot of people. Bumped into a lot of people. Um, so you know, I got to see my boys. Uh, two of my sons live on the other side of the country, so I don't get to see them as much. One in Bani, one in uh, Villa de Gracia. So I don't get to see them as much, but I got to visit them this just trip. Spend some time with them. Uh, but overall, I mean, just a great trip. Enjoyed myself, partied a little bit. Might do some more partying tonight just to end it off. Uh, decide on what town I want to party in tonight, not sure. Got some friends in town, might scoop them up, do something different. But uh, this is Dominican Republic, you know. Uh, next trip, I've decided to hit up some more cities. I'm looking into that resort thing. Might do a resort too. Hopefully, I don't die. Uh, but you know, this has been a, a, a flip flop production, flip flop tour trip. You know, just uh, doing my thing, man. Everybody I bumped into along the way. Uh, met a couple people out there. Beat Monster, Mark, everybody. How you guys doing, man? Shout to you guys. Uh, people just saw me and just shouted me out. You know, appreciate you guys. Um, and you know, I'm here, I'm in the street. So can no one tell you I'm not in the street, especially the people when I bumped into them, they saw me in certain spots like, yo, what's up? You know, so I'm out here. Um, you know, no knock on anybody else, but you know, I'm really uh, boots on the ground and 
and you know in the towns i'm everywhere you know and i've not never never felt any type of way any type of fear from any situation nothing to worry about you know so just to be the dr and hopefully you guys enjoy these videos i'll try to put them together as fast as i can i think i'm gonna do it town by town and uh you know just enjoying life out here in the sunny beautiful dominican republic i appreciate you guys Thank you.